up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 88. Um, this week I'm going to be using a team that DMT used in one of his more recent lives. It's actually made by Dodman, um, who's a pretty good UU player. Um, really good team builder. Um, and I thought I'd use it, and if you guys want to be like, oh, but I saw this team in DMT's video, you're just stealing his team? I know. I steal teams all the time. I'm a thief. Anyway, um... <laughs> So, uh, th this is a team built around Feraligator and Sharpedo, um, which is kind of a cool, like, water spam core. You can't see me, like, doing the Austin Powers air quotes, but I am. Um, anyway, so, this is a Gator, which is, like, sub as a D for wall breaking. Helps beat stall. Enough Spadef. I don't know what for, but there's some Spadef there. Uh, Waterfall and Crunch as the two primary moves. And then we also got Sharpedo here, um, who's actually a really cool mod. I've been using him a lot more in UU lately. Actually built another hyper offense team, which I may use next week. We'll see. Um, but this isn't as much hyper offense as it is just offense. Uh, pr protect Waterfall, Crunch, and Ice Fang. Then we have a bulky Dragal. Well, I say bulky Dragals, but all Dragals are bulky. Um, but this is a. a T-Spike Dragon Tail set, which is actually really cool for racking up damage versus bulkier teams, um, especially since this threatens Floor just out, which is one of the main um, clerics on stall, which is pretty cool. Um, then we also have Dreadplate Crook, uh, Stealth Rock, Taunt, Knockoff, and Earthquake, which is the rocker. Uh, then we also have Crobat, which is bulky, and it's here for not defogging, it's here for taunting, stopping defog, um, hitting pretty hard, outpacing a ton of stuff, and checking fighting types, which would otherwise kind of threaten this team. Because uh, stuff like EQ, Hera, which would tear this team apart without Crobat. And then we also have uh, Entei right here, which is just standard choice band stuff. Used it before. I'm going to grab another game on the You No Skull Ladder. Because I am higher up on here. I feel like the l And I feel like the matches are a lot better when I am higher up. I'm not super high up because I didn't play forever. Um, where am I? We're, we're about to search this up. Um, am I not even on the ladder? No, I'm on the ladder. I'm 50th. I passed myself. Yeah, so I, I'll try to get as high up on the ladder as I can, um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so uh, finally got a match, uh, and let me close this right quick, I was watching that battle waiting for a match. Anyway, um, we're both using Gator, which is cool, um, he can either be Sash Sam or Life Orb Sam, uh, that's actually kind of an issue for my team, because... Crobat outspeeds it, and Sharpedo outspeeds it. I'm trying to figure out how I can get a Shark Sweep. Um, it's going to be hard with the Chestnut. got to wear that down with Dragal. Is this Sludge Wave? Is it Sludge Bomb? Why? Uh, uh, I, I guess, but um, Entei will probably threaten a lot of his uh, water checks pretty well. So, anyway, uh, what is he going to leave with here? Nothing on his team gets rocks. Only this gets spikes. But I'm kind of feeling a Zam lead. Or a, uh, this thing lead, which have pretty much separate counters, which is great. Uh, I'm just going to lead Crobat, because it's a fast U-turn, I can scout what he wants to lead with. If he does lead Shandy, I'll probably switch out, because that thing can be Scarfed. Um, and he ends up leading Electros, which is just fine. That This thing won't be Scarfed, I know that much. <laughs> so I can just U-turn out on this, and uh, go into... Probably Crocodile, uh, just predicting the Volt Switch so I can kill some of his momentum turn one, which will be great for me. Um, if he goes for Giga Drain, then it's like, that sucks, and I could have gotten into Dragalge for free, which is good middle ground. Um, so he just goes for the T-Bolt, which is fine. Um, I'm kind of expecting him to reveal like a grass move right here, uh, either Giga Drain or if he's like mixed Drain Punch maybe. Uh, so I'm going to go into to Dragalge to scout that as he goes for the Acid Spray, which would be kind of threatening um, if I couldn't just drop a Draco right here and pretty much get a kill. Um, so the more I can get Dragalge in, the better. Um, I can get it in versus Choice Slash Shandy, which will be very, very helpful. Um, and I can also pretty much get it in versus Gator, uh, as uh, he just goes ahead and sacks his Electros, not... I guess slow world's slowest Electros everybody um, if he goes in with Gator I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to stop that <laughs> uh, oh boy that could be a problem he goes into Zam though which is another issue and I'm probably just gonna go Crook uh, he hasn't made a play so far so I'm not expecting him to not in the first five turns but after that I'll scout, or start, I will start uh, scouting for plays a little bit more uh, often, um, is he ends up just going for the sub. That's cool. He's not sub lefties. That's good. This is bad, actually. Um, I'm gonna go for the knockoff, though. 
because I should be able to do a good amount of damage. Um, and I also want to scout uh, or check something. Okay, he's sub. Uh, so, I'd assume he has Focus Blast if he's setting up. But there's not a whole lot I can do about this. I don't have Pursuit. Like, I would like to get my rocks up because it does pressure Pidgeot and Shandy a lot more. But, uh, I also got to check x -play. Oh, never mind. Good play. <laughs> So, because he's sub Calm Mind Zam, I'm able to knock that out, which is really nice. And I was just checking the special attacks between these two, because I took a Focus Blast from x earlier, but it wasn't Specs, so... Anyway, that thing's down, that's nice. Huge threat to my team gone. He goes into Pidgeot now, which is another threat. Just bringing in all these threats. Help, man. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do against this. Pidgeot, or, uh, Dragal just probably bulky enough to take one. But in all honesty, I just got to weaken it for Sharpedo late game. Um, can also probably sh uh, set up Gator on Choice Lock Shandy, which is something I may be interested in. Um, right here. I, I, I really need Entei. I need Entei super bad. Uh, Crobat is nice to check that thing too. So, looks like Crook is getting the boot right here. I'm just going to Stealth Rock. Maybe he turns and lets me live. I get my rocks up. That'd be nice, but... Uh, not necessarily expecting it. Um, we'll see. He just goes for the hurricane. Ends up knocking me out. So, you know, you win some, you lose some on that front. Um, now I'm probably just going to go into Dragalge. I, he can't knock me out with a hurricane. I'm almost 100% certain about that. So I come in, I get a kill. Beautiful. Um, I hope he fodders Chestnut, because if he fodders that, then Shark just may actually win from here on out. Um, and I recognize I am foddering. Maybe one of my best stops to Gator. Well, not foddering, but you guys know what I mean. Um... I'm sending it in to take damage right now, but I, I have a feeling I can check this thing relatively well with like e-speed and stuff. That did nothing. Sick. I not only broke through, but I hit my Draco, so that is amazing. And so far, he may think that I'm choice because I haven't showed anything else. So if he does go into Chestnut, I may... He won't go into Chestnut. Um, he'll go into Gator. Bad. <laughs> Help. Um... I think my best play right here is probably to go into my own Gator, because I can crunch, get off good damage. Um, I'm not max attack, which is a little bit disheartening, but as long as, if he's DD, I feel a lot more, actually, I want him to be SD with uh, SD, A Jet, Waterfall, Crunch, because that's actually a lot easier for me to take on, uh, since I do have stuff like Shark. Um, so we go, he goes for DD, that's not good. Um, what I'm gonna do right here, because I don't think he can 2 it KO me, is I'm gonna go ahead and set up an SD. Um, because even if I just force him out, I can just pivot into Crobat on whatever he goes into, which is wonderful for me. <sighs> oh my god. I did a lot. So, I just made a horrible play. Uh, I'm gonna go for my own crunch right here. I should have just gone with the stock crunch. I thought this was... I didn't anticipate Gator to be that strong. I don't know why, but I didn't. Um... So right here, I'm probably just going to go into Crobat. Yes, this is a Crobat. And uh, the reason I'm going to go into that is because I can get off some Brave Bird damage, probably. Um, and hopefully that's all I need. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to take a hit, too. Um, it, this isn't going to be super strong, but I am Skyplate. Like, it'll do a good amount. As long as it does, like, 50% or... 61. That's good. That's beautiful. Goes for the Ice Punch. Takes me out. Um, so I'm fairly certain Shark can take him out from this range. I'll have to Mega Evolve, which is pretty lame. Or I could go into Entei and click E-Speed. That's another thing I can do. And I think I'm going to do that instead. Because um, in case he Scarf this, then I don't choke. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the play. This is Jolly Shark, too, so that's that's great. I'm going to go into Entei right here, and I'm just going to click E-Speed, uh, because I will be able to knock him out, and if he wants to go into Shandy, he can. Uh, it's kind of disheartening. Like, it's just annoying for me more than anything, uh, but I can go straight away for the E-Speed right here. He actually has a lot of reason to save this. That would be really helpful for him, um, but I definitely made a choke. Like, I definitely choked by not crunching earlier. Because then I just could have taken him out with Brave Bird. But, you know, win some, lose some. Glad he sacked that. Um, this puts me in a pretty good position, actually. Because if he does go into a Chestnut right here... Actually, he has no reason not to go into Shandy, which he does. Good play. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into Shark. Because if I do take this Shadow Ball, which I think I will, then, hey, you know, I took a Shadow Ball. That's amazing. 
Um, I get my speed up. I get a speed boost, I believe. Do I not? I don't get a speed boost. That did a lot, actually. Um, and I'm going to win this game by using Sharpedo or doubling right now. I feel like doubling. Because that looks like scarf damage, and I know Entei can avoid a 2 at KO. I feel like he's going to double the chestnut. I just really do. Actually, better play would be going into Dragalge. Right? Uh, oh, whoops. Did I choke? I didn't choke. That's a roll. That's a roll right there. That's disheartening. Uh, so I'm going to Stone Edge right here. I can still win. It just maybe isn't guaranteed now. Oh, I'm choking all over the place. Yep, yeah, he's going to be able to knock me out. Alright, so I'm going to stay in with Sharpedo right here. I think my only chance of winning is if he can't do 48% with Shadow, 40 with shadow Ball right there. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and protect this turn. And then I'll go for the uh, Crunch because I have the chance to get a defense drop. Whatever. Um, so he does go for the Shadow Ball. I will outspeed him this turn. So uh, If I knew he was staying in... Because it's like, to me, the, the better play right there is to double to Chestnut. But, oh. Oh. That's helpful. Uh, <laughs> so unless he's like EQ, um, Chestnut, I think I win. I think I win, which is great. Shoutouts to this guy. I'm going to hit him with a strong jaw ice fang, though. And since I have, like, no HP, he's not going to get that much back. Chestnut's actually a really cool mod. Um, I was trying to build an OU team with... Uh, ow. I was trying to build an OU team with it the other day. Um, with Mega Sableye, because I think it works really well on Hazard Stack. But the problem is Mega Sableye and Chestnut share a fairy weakness, which is just kind of annoying. But I'm going to do 41% right there, which I'll take. He wood hammers, does more damage to himself. So it's looking like Dragalge can come in, not miss a Draco, and I can win. Um, the, I would click Sludge Bomb, but Bulletproof will block that, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but I'm just going to go for Draco. Dragalge, okay, so even if I miss a Draco, I still have a chance to win. And he just goes for the Leaf Seed, but I hit it, so that is a good game. It clearly mattered. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. I um, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live. Um, if you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, uh, which is... We're going to go with... Uh, what is your guys' mains in Smash? Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to get into Smash. I'm not actually that good right now. Um, but, you know... I'm working on it. I'm, I'm playing Pac-Man. I may pick up... I, I may main Greninja over Pac-Man. We'll see. But anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.